<laughs> in five, four, three, two, one. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fresh Talks. I'm your host, Fresh Philly, and we have the homie Breon back again, like Eminem. Guess who's back? Mm, fuck that stuff. Really? Yeah. That's <laughs> what I said. Nah, because he called me a diva two episodes ago. Fuck him. <laughs> Just to give y'all yeah. heads up, we gonna try to do a top five or top ten fresh list in December, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna do my best to get all three of us in here. Oh, that'll be that'll be good. it'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, the only thing is, I gotta see how to set this up because it's a small room. <laughs> that being said, y'all, what's up, everybody? Happy Sunday! When y'all hear this, it'll be a Wednesday. I apologize for the inconvenience last week. I did, I forgot all about editing because when we finished last week, I usually edit right after. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, Nesto came over so fast. I told him, don't come over until I tell you to. But he came over during when we were recording. Oh, So, like, from the time from we were midway recording uh-huh. to he got here, we were okay. finished and he was here. So, we fucking, I had to, like, scramble and do an audible and I forgot all about that fucking shit. I, yeah, like, I, I, thought, oh, I thought that's what you were going to say. Like, but yeah, if I forget to upload on a Wednesday, it's guaranteed to be upload the night of, but won't be available until Thursday morning. Same time, 6 a.m. Remember, we're on Apple and Spotify. So like, share, subscribe, rock out with us. We are cock out with us. We going to do our thing. Oh. I didn't see that. I didn't see that coming from rock out with your cock out, bro. <laughs> as many as many times as I heard that heard that expression, bro, I've never I never saw that coming from you. You, you ever go to Shoprite, right? Of course. Oh, I just went and there like two nights ago. I went there yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. And I keep forgetting. You go to our aisle. The, mm-hmm. Oh my god! I know what you minority mean. aisle. I know. <laughs> they had a Jamaican seasoning soup thing called. You already know what I'm talking about. Jamaican season is it's like a soup, but it's called cock soup. I never saw that, bro. Let me, let me show you a picture. Right, I took a picture of it because every time I see it, I, I know what it is. It's like see, like a like a chicken bouillon powder type of stuff, mm-hmm. and and you literally, it's the soup mix. That's all it is. It's a legitimate soup mix. Oh wow! So it's a Caribbean. It's uh, the brand is called Caribbean from Caribbean Dreams. It's Jamaican cock soup. And it's kind of funny. Um, I low key want to buy it to try it out and see. I can. Wait, oh, oh, you didn't get it, but you, no. you, you just saw it and like. Just, like oh, I was just laughing. <laughs> My immaturity level was just giggling inside, like. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the people who made it had 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 to know that was going to happen. Wait, no. Remember when we say cock here, we think that over there is probably like chicken. Because remember, cock does mean chicken. Yeah, you you definitely should with some some somebody had to get somebody in the in the factory in the man in the manufacturing process had to be laughing. But you think about it, it's if it's a good brand then and the name speaks for itself, no pun intended. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> like what did Eddie Murphy say when he was talking about why your sweetheart just live and sl- smile by yourself on vacation? And remember, he was swinging his uh his mic around like. Shoo, shoo, shoo. <laughs> You remember that or no? I, 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 no, what, what was that from? Oh, I forgot which stand up it was. But it was talking about, oh, if you don't treat your girl right, someone else in the on the islands will, and then she's gonna come back so happy. Ah, oh, damn, I can't. Raw, yeah. raw, raw, or delirious? But you know, the yeah, joke, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I got yeah, shit. Yo, you know what you should do? Oh. Well, we, I know we said this before, but what? Eddie Murphy should go on tour like one last time. I, I think he did, bro. Re- recently. No way. I, I, think, bro, I think he did. Yeah, yeah. Like I think uh um bro, I think it was like two thousand twenty one. Because I but like, like, before it even happened, oh or I might be wrong. It probably was two thousand twenty or two thousand twenty one. Okay. He he was catching a lot of flack. Why? Because um because uh when he announced that he was gonna go on tour one more time, like like uh, people I don't know why. Well, I I know why. Like they dug up some jokes from Raw and Delirious. Oh and yeah, then, and, and they got canceled. Brought, and they they brought, try to cancel. Back up. Yeah, they try to cancel. Like, nah, yo. And, 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 and Eddie Murphy, 
I, I wish he I wish he didn't, but he did anyway. But cause it was kind of a good move. It's kind of it kind of smart move. Like he apologized for everything. Said, like, I mean, you had it to. was back. It was back in the day. I was heartbroken. No, but it's like this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like yo know, back then everything wasn't as filtered. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so and see, mm-hmm. why it's the thing about it. delirious and raw? Like yo, you the name for the stand up special speaks for itself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you know comedy, com- there's no, there is no fucking rules. It is TKO. Right. You're going to either get hurt or you're going to laugh your ass off. There's one or the other. There's no in the middle. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right. And as a fan of comedy and just as a normal fan of comedy, right? Mm-hmm. It. I'm not saying like I know every single stand up in the world type of mentality, but I enjoy, I appreciate it. Who doesn't like a good laugh? If cool. you find anything offensive, then you need to either evaluate your fucking feelings mm-hmm. or it's just not for you. That's it. Mm-hmm. Bro, you, how many times you, me, when you, me, and, and Nesta are in the room, our jokes, our racially slurred jokes, be going out the window. Like, there's, like gloves are oh, off. Dead ass. Oh, yeah, dead ass. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, like, bro, it, it's just how we bond as boys because right. it's funny. Mm-hmm. We find it fun. We have immaturity level of of jokes, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when we now, when we talk, when, we, when it comes down to it, we mature and we talk about what it is, what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But people can't dif- differentiate the two and they get upset, butthurt, sensitivity. But that's, it is what it is, right? Mm-hmm. It is what it is. <laughs> Moving forward. We got a couple of things to talk about today, right? Uh, good amount of things to talk about today. If anything, some serious things to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna talk about StockX. I uh, again, fuck. Um, when, when when do you not talk about stock? <laughs> I know, right? Um, be, uh, Black Cement Three is being dropped in New York City at a pizza spot. Mm. Um, does social media really ruin the sneaker community? And a couple of sneaker releases that we're going to talk about, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but since we're going, before we talk about anything about that, I, I, it came to my attention. Because you're in the fitness world. Right. I'm I'm yes, you appreciative are. of yeah, the fitness bro, world. In it. I'm not in it. Bro, you're in it. I'm in it. I'm just a, I'm just a casual gym goer that is strong for no reason. Yeah, but the numbers you're lifting aren't casual. <laughs> so, like... <laughs> so, I'm a, so, 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 stop, 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 stop being modest. I, I get it. Stop being modest. Be call a spade a spade. You're nah. in you're in the world. Nah, you know what's crazy? What's up? I went I was testing my luck. What's up? Not testing my luck, like seeing where I stood on squats on Friday. Okay. Um I went the highest I want I want to do was like eighty five percent to ninety percent okay. of my, my squat. Because okay. my, my current PR is four forty for squat, right? Okay. I did three eighty five. First it was the plan was two sets, one rep. Okay. I did that. All right, cool. Like, not bad. Mm-hmm. Good, solid, solid push. Mm-hmm. And the third, I was like, you know what? Let me go for a third one. Mm-hmm. I did the sec, the third one, one for two. So one set, two reps. I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I, I, I guess uh, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, I guess. <laughs> All right. But it was cool because, like, like I enjoy, I enjoy the fitness world. I really do. It's... It, you know, because you, it helped better your life, right? Yeah, absolutely. It really did. It helped better my life. It gives me discipline. It gives me structure. It gives me order for myself. I couldn't have said it better. You know, like, I don't skip. The only, the last time I skipped was before yesterday. Because mm-hmm. yesterday is my niece's birthday. Right. I had no choice. Because I was just scattered everywhere. Mm-hmm. Bro, I haven't skipped it maybe since my surgery. From my surgery mm-hmm. till now, it was like. You know what I mean? Right. But it gives me order. It gives me discipline. It gives me that's right direction. Mm-hmm. And it's also fun. Yeah. It's also fun. <laughs> People are like, you pay a monthly fee to pick shit up and push it down. I'm like, they, I'm like, all right, what do you do besides looking like a dumpling? I may look like a dumpling and to a certain extent, but at least I won't fucking tweak my leg right. or my mm-hmm. elbows or my wrist when I walk down the stairs because mm-hmm. at a certain age your body can't take it. Right. My my boy told me this and it gave me a little insight of what it really is, right? Mm-hmm. 
when I bench, mm-hmm. I notice I don't use wrist wraps or elbow uh, elbow sleeves or whatever. Right. And I'm rep I'm repping two seventy five to three hundred with with raw fucking body. Which way yeah, the, the, just like you say, like when you get old, that just signifies your ligaments. Yeah. Which ails, you know, which ails the common person when Oh, I think my shoulder's gonna be fucked up when I get older. <laughs> but, 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 uh, but be be that as it may. But but yeah, just, just just like you say, like that that signifies that you're on the right track. Mm. So, you know, um 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 no, but to to, I was like, I'm not going to use the word preventing, but you're on the right track to ensuring your health when you get into your elderly stage. Oh yeah, I have homies. All right, I'm in this group chat. Shout out to the boys. Shout out to the homies. Mm. Um, I gonna tell them I don't know if they feel comfortable. But I know I could say uh, Pete's been on here before, so shout out to okay. Pete mm-hmm. and all the rest of the homies. I don't know if they're com- like I said. I don't know if they're comfortable. Okay. Every time I'm at the gym, I send today's service. Because it's a service to us, right? Okay. But it's to remind, I do it because they, I want them to like, oh, if he has time, that means I can make time. That's right, right. And it's not like an ego thing. It's not me trying to show off that I want them to, to like, to drive that. off of it. I get that. In a, per, that. In a positive way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I, I just want them to be the best version of themselves. Yeah, amen. You know what amen. I mean? And that's how, us guys are in the right. gym. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, yeah, we might get like egotistic to a certain extent or even um, envious. Like, damn, I wish sure. I was like that. Or damn, I wish I could do that. Right. Mm-hmm. It's but, just true. But the reason why I brought this topic up, because we at around this age, me, it doesn't bother me. Mm-hmm. But I want to ask you. What's up? So I saw online mm-hmm. some, I would say, I'm going to just say broad. All right, because yeah. that's not a woman, that's not a female, that's a broad. Okay, talking broad. about. Oh, I find it a it if I see someone in their late twenties and early thirties having abs, like <laughs> that makes no sense. I understand this is a sneaker podcast, <laughs> and we go raw on this shit, mm-hmm. like no pun intended. Right, but it's like you're upset because another man or another individual is physically looking better than you when you if you if i wish i sent you the video first this like bro yeah i wish i saw the video but, but I she looked like me mm-hmm. okay okay 50 pounds more no muscle oh shit you get what i'm saying here <laughs> okay. i'm at 215 mm-hmm. 5 8 5 9 on a good day mm-hmm. okay. 5 9 on a good day okay 5 10 if i'm wearing tims or nike boots <laughs> yeah. you hear me you understand yeah so I was like, what? All right. Okay. Okay. I, I can't. Yeah. And I, I want to ask, how do you feel about that? Okay. Yeah. That's it. Because you, you know, you're, you're a fit dude. You got abs. Right. You got mm-hmm. muscles. You mm-hmm. shredded. You're ripped. Mm-hmm. Take oh, away. Oh, thank you, bro. Take, take away my, yeah. my king. Yeah. Go ahead. So, so the, 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 thank you, my king. So basically yeah. what I can, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we just, we was on a good note. But, it, but um, so, 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 so basically well, what I would say is if that is, Gen- if she's coming from a place of genuineness, which we both know she's not, I was the uh, first thing I want to say is everybody's preferences are their preferences. Okay, all right, all right, cool. Like that, that's that's fair. If she doesn't, if she doesn't find someone attractive, then she has the God given right to not find someone attractive. Okay. Just like just like I do, and just like you. Yeah. But the reason why I say I really doubt this is her genuine opinion because. I, I, it's one of two things I want to say, and, and, they're, and they're 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 both two long answers. Mm. If if you if you don't mind me, go ahead, go ahead. all right. Now the first answer is, and uh, uh, she could be saying that as a response to, I know, gym, I know fitness culture, gym culture. There's positive to it. Mm. People, guys like uh, uh 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 guys like Joey Swole and the guy James James C something. I want you to keep up the good work because the, my first answer is there is a dark, there is a shitty side to gym culture and, and the fitness culture that mm. I hate mm. as well. There are, but there are hurt mentally, hurt mentally unstable, just 
just just just un mentally psychologically spiritually unhealthy people mm-hmm. in the fitness world what i mean by the, those those steroided up juiced up never got a hug from mommy oh. or daddy type of people oh, that's who, who use that who, like that's how i was just like like the whole definition like i i, I, I just want to like get it all out so it all makes sense mm. at the end you got those people who 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 are so hurt spiritually oh. who, their souls are so hurt like yeah they 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 spend their whole lives building up a body like a statue to tear to tear the world down and when it comes to coming back to that woman, maybe she, unfortunately, maybe she came into contact with those spiritually hurt people. Mm. And then like, they, like, aggressive. yeah, they, they were so aggressive with her and I'm hoping they were so aggressive with her. They were, they were so mad, nasty and mean to her. They were very discouraging to her that she got a mentality about everybody yeah a bad fitness. apple yeah yeah she came into a bad apple and in her brain that spoiled the entire mm-hmm. bunch and now she says to her and now she says to herself hey, yeah uh, uh maybe, maybe that's how she got their opinion. like she said that as as a as a response to the spiritually hurt people mm-hmm. attack like attacking her for mm-hmm. no reason like like that so like that that's 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 my first answer okay. that maybe she got that up maybe she said that as a response to her coming into a bad apple and it made me it, it, and it just like it just like spoiled her outlook on everybody okay and now my second half of this answer is like it will, will, will kevin kevin gates after you, you know, Kevin Gates transformed his body yeah. and mind yeah. compared to when we started listening yeah. to him back in the day. Yeah. Kevin Gates transformed his body and mind. He said it, he was on an Instagram live after his transformation. And he said it so perfectly. Mm. A young lady commented on his live saying, I miss you when you, I miss when you had your, uh, your dad by. Okay. And like, he didn't get emotional. He didn't get upset. He read that comment and he said, he said, he read the comment. He said, he missed me when I had my dad, but I'm, I'm trying to do his accent. Like, uh, you know, so yeah. he said, he missed my dad. He said, nah, you, you, you don't, you don't miss my dad, but you miss when I, you miss when I didn't love myself. You miss when I let people play with me. You miss when I, I, I was, I wasn't taking myself seriously so that I, so the, so that I would just be on any type of bullshit. Now I'm a disciplined, I'm a disciplined man. I'm a change man. I'm a focused man. And sort of like the reason why I say that is because you got the, I, I've seen that you got some people who say, "Oh, I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like a, I don't like a, a seeing a fit man, or I don't like seeing a fit woman." You got some people who say that as because like they don't want to be around somebody who's disciplined on themselves or someone better than themselves or, or better than because like you want physically you better, physically, physically better, yeah. Right? So like, you don't want to be around somebody that's that that doesn't play about themselves because mm-hmm. you know that you can't that, that you can't manipulate them yeah you know you don't want to be around somebody who, who 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 who's disciplined and don't play about themselves because you know that you got some bullshit about you but they're you know like since you know that they're so disciplined about themselves they're not gonna be they're not gonna be on it they're not gonna no, fall facts, for your bullshit facts. you know what i'm saying you don't want to be around somebody who's 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 disciplined in their body and mind and mm-hmm. you know has abs and you know uh takes their nutrition and health seriously because like you know that it's going to it's going to force you to have to force you to have to it's going to force you to have to realize that you you'd rather not choose to you know elevate yourself or change yourself so that so that you know i might as well like just find some find somebody else who do who, uh, who don't this one don't want to discipline them. so basically yeah so that that that's so that's the second reason no but hear mm-hmm. me out mm-hmm. i understand you under 10 percent i'm mm-hmm. gonna piggyback off what you said when it came to steroid use mm-hmm. right we know the pros and cons we understand oh, mm-hmm. the pros and cons of steroids right mm-hmm. especially you because i'm not saying you don't i know you don't use it no. but you you love the fitness world so much you you look at the good and the bad. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. you sit there and watch a documentary mm-hmm. and read articles about it. I know you do. Right. The way you love the fitness world is the way I love sneakers. I read about sneakers articles more than right. compared absolutely. to you, no absolutely. offense. Cool. Sure. But 
when it comes to fitness articles, mm. medication articles, pre-workout stuff. Yes. Things that people take supplements, all that shit. I know yeah. you read that shit. Yeah, absolutely. Thoroughly mm-hmm. into your research. Yes. I, it's funny because shout out to the homie Alex, right? Mm. I was talking to him and I said, I, I remember, I don't know exactly what I said, but I said steroids are for dickheads. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And like, and I'm like, it's illegal. Why use? And then he took it literally like all steroids. Like, I mean, all steroids. <laughs> Medical, because I, I use this example. Me and him got, when we had, uh, going to a dentist around the same time, yeah. we had a lot of issues. So me and him were going, I was like, oh, because he was on antibiotic steroids. I was too, for our teeth, right? Oh, right. I was like, but that's not illegal. I understand. Let me rephrase it. Steroid abuse is illegal. Yes. But at the end of the day, it's still illegal because regardless if you abuse it or not to a certain extent, because how do you think those goers, those gym rats, those gym uh, goers, the the uh, steroid users got those steroids in the first place? The supplier will go straight to the doctor, True. lose it, lose those amount of steroids or whatever, 40 milligrams, on whatever, the yeah. pack or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Because if he... Or she, the doctor, loses it. Right. It looks okay. Oh, fine. It just got lost in shipping. Right? Yeah. Next thing you know, it'll be like, if he gets caught, if the doctor gets caught, who goes to jail? Yeah. Who goes to jail? The the, the, The doctor. Yeah. That being said, I'm just saying it's still considered illegal. It's just a trickle effect. Mm. People don't think about that. I think of the bigger picture. Right. One mistake or quote unquote mistake or wrong doesn't make everything right. I'm going to say it like this. I will never respect steroid users when it comes to the gym. The only time I feel like anyone should use steroids is a sick individual, Mm -hmm. adult or baby, because they're sick. They have, they need it to process their body because their body is too weak. Yeah, absolutely. That's the point of a steroid Mm -hmm. use. Right. Medically. Yeah. Was for that primary purpose. Mm. But when people start using it at the gym, hence steroid abuse. True. Yes, true. That being said, but you're mm. like, oh, they try to justify saying, oh, they still work out just as hard as you, but a little extra help. All right, cool. My, I don't, bro, I have back knee because of fucking fried chicken. I have <laughs> sensitive skin. At the age of 32, I still get back knee. Like, and I don't use anything. Right. Everything I use intake for protein or gain of in the gym is from intake on food. Mm-hmm. The worst thing I probably take is pre workout, and I I I leveled it down a bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you take it once in a blue moon. Yeah, when I'm really when I'm really tired, yeah. or oh, when man. I want to hit a PR. Oh man, oh, that's it. Right. That's it. But nonetheless, it is what it is. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. Moving forward, y'all, we're going to talk about sneakers now. That was a nice little talk about fitness because it was just something nice to like to change up a right. bit mm-hmm. just to get – like because I know a lot of people that, that do listen to this do go to the gym. Right. So it was just a nice little take. So the first thing we're going to talk about is StockX. Bro, I, I have to base it on this. I was Team StockX and Team, team eBay. Now oh. I'm just Team eBay. All right. Do you do you, uh, do you shop on Goat? What's I, last? What's I, last? I don't. Ever since I lost, oh. I fought that. Like, I'm still fighting the cases right now as we speak with my credit card. Until that shit is settled, I'm not doing shit. And even if after it's settled, I don't. I'm not gonna do shit. Damn. Yeah, okay. I'm not. Um. That being said, y'all. So this is what happened during the weekend or the week. StockX basically purposely stole fakes in mm. the uh their their lawsuit that's going on. You know, people found uh, the articles, right? right. The, the the court papers. Okay. Uh, StockX argument that Nike merely discovered 77 physical counterfeit goods, right? Well, mm. physical pairs. Okay. Which is literally construed as a handful, okay? Okay. The record established that these fake pairs, all which Nike physically inspected, mm. are far from... Com- from the complete story, as a Nike explained in opening, although in motion focused on the on these seventy seven pairs, 
Okay. Hmm. Discover revealed far more counterfeits sold on StockX platform, including by a fraud ring that got away with selling over a thousand and eight hundred products before hmm. it was stopped. And that StockX had no idea how many counterfeit Nike shoes authenticated and shipped to consumers. So hmm. I'm not saying StockX literally did it themselves. Yeah. I feel that, like the workers did it. Okay. I feel like the workers try to try to get up on people. Mm-hmm. So for example, like basically the workers were trying to bullshit and mm-hmm. the workers made StockX look bad. Right, right. You know what I mean? Um StockX authority claims were were likewise knowingly false as it admits its authenticators cannot determine if a product is authentic. StockX also admit that it knew it was passing counterfeit footwear. And had no idea what percentage of fakes were making it through authentication and into consumers' hands. Mm. So the fact that they knew that their workers were fucking up. Right. Yo, that's really bad. Oh, shit. So it's like, do do was this during the time when the lawsuit first started? Because the lawsuit has been over a year now. Right. I, I believe it's over a year. I'm not sure. But... Remember during pandemic, everybody was getting their checks and they were just yeah, buying shit mm-hmm. like crazy. Yeah. So was that around the same time as there where people were just like just buying shit to buy shit? You get what I'm saying? Hmm. Or was it like recent? Because remember during pandemic, everybody mm-hmm. was buying shit out the ass. Right. Mm-hmm. So I was like uh, I mean like if if it was during pandemic, I think I'm this is I'm sorry for saying this. I'm thinking about it from a um from either like us. You can either say from a trying to be lucrative standpoint, why you would want to buy everything because like during pandemic, everyone's buying. Even, no, yeah, like 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 and that would be like a good idea. Like That's just too. So it's you know, fucked up though. You would, you would, you you wouldn't know. Not you fucked up. How the market would be because like everybody because like the condition that because like. Everybody's stuck in the house. You know what I'm saying? I'll say, like, rack up on it now. The only thing so I like, racked up on was toilet paper and detergent. Yeah. So, so like, and, yeah, to- toilet paper, detergent, and paper towels. Mm-hmm. And, like, essential shit, toothpaste. Mm-hmm. What contact solution? Shit like that. Shit I know I'm going to need to use. Mm-hmm. So, I, I th- never racked up on TVs. Or, like, the fuck I need to rack up on TVs for? Because, like, pe- people's, like, like pe- people's, like, fear. I'm and not having like, something. Yeah, I'm losing right. something. Right, and it was it was like that. P- people had a mindset like oh, all oh, because like when they were first making news reports mm-hmm. on like the pandemic of the of the uh, uh, of the national shutdown, mm-hmm. people had more of. But when it comes to electronics and uh, and goods and clothing, people had this type of production man, I, like a production, uh, like a production. Um, how we say it. Like, I, I, I want you to get what I'm trying to say. I know what you're saying, though. But they a, will there's, rack up on it. Like, there's I, a yeah, terminology so can, for it. Yeah, like, ah, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Like, you know what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. Uh, I don't even know how to word it either. Like, yeah, like, they, they, like, like, damn. like they, Consumption, overconsumption. Just say it like that. Overconsumption. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Like, you, when you overeat. Right, right. okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like something in, like, in their brain where they just, like, bond, like, it just opens like when you buy a new pair of shoes you feel so happy right Mm -hmm. you know what i mean um that being said it's like now i have to say i'm not team stock x no more i don't i i'm very skeptical i i wouldn't buy a high-end shoe anymore off of them true i I agree i I might buy like i say like a shoe that's like let's say a buck fifty and if I end up being fake, then I like, might yeah, return it back. You're not, yeah, you're, like, you're not going to be killed. I'll, I'll, over I'm there. not going to be mad compared to a fucking like five, six hundred dollars shoe. Right. You get what I'm saying? I agree. So it's like that being said, overall, it's just very, very skeptical. Yeah. And, and you know, you know, you want, you don't want to, uh, you want to know something like because like like this like around the time I first met you, right? You you posted a video about um like. And, and this was like about I left I left I think I left a comment on that video. You mm-hmm. saw about a uh, uh, kid uh, wearing, wearing a StockX tag, right? Yeah. Uh, would you do it or would you not? And then I say, you know, like after you know, like they're back back when like 
their name started up stock X started circulating about yeah. all the fakes yeah. being uh, uh people still wore it i'm like i'm like so like, I, at this point even with like be because of all the notoriety they got because of all the fakes mm. being passed wearing the stock x tag i'm like i wouldn't i wouldn't but from my point because of all the fakes that got passed wearing a stock x tag i wouldn't even like look at that as as like a as like a as like a hip symbol, it's like a cool symbol because, like, bro, like, be be like, like you wearing a you stock, X, you, like, right, yeah, like you wearing a stock X tag as like some sort of, you wearing a stock X tag as like some sort of, uh, as a as some sort of like as a sort of like symbol that say like, oh my, the sneakers are new and fresh, freshly yeah. processed through stock X, yeah, but bro, bro stock X are pro- are passing so many fakes, mm. you don't even know if. If that what you got on is is fake because it's a 50 50 chance, so yeah, yeah so like, and, and even with the the news circulating around all the fakes that got people were still rocking a stock X tag. And I'm like, after hearing all that, bro, I wouldn't even rock, I wouldn't rock that stock X tag, bro, yeah, yeah, because I like, 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 you, you, you know what I'm saying, yeah, because like, like, we did it as 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 to rep, as like, uh, you wore your stock X tag as like to say, like, my my, shit my legit. Fresh, yeah, look at my legit fresh, shit. yeah. Not about that. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah, not no more, bro. But the thing why I made that video back mm-hmm. then, it's because why were people getting clowned on? Mm-hmm. It would never it never cease to amaze me. Because like at that time before even StockX said they they knew or heard of that their authenticators were passing fakes. Mm-hmm. Just the StockX in general, it was just like, before that happened, StockX in general, it was just like, bro, it's just StockX. Like, let it be. Let it rock out. They want to rock out with the tag, let it rock out with the tag. Mm-hmm. Everyone makes mistakes, right? right. Everyone mm-hmm. makes mistakes. And we're all human. Authentication is human. But the thing is, that's why I, I, I let it slide, or not let it slide, me personally, but like, understood because like bro we're all humans we all make mistakes right. you can fall today and be like oh shit because you're a human you trip right you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but at the end of the day to me what should have they should have done was fire yes those workers mm-hmm. off the rip or have them on 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 um on leave mm-hmm. and have it have them under what was it not, what was that terminology of your your case is being looked at when you're in trouble at work? Ah, uh, I, I, I don't know the word either. I know exactly what you're saying. Uh, administration, administrative leave. Is is that this? I'm not sure. Oh, no. I, I know exactly what the you're terminology saying. that like like whatever we're trying to say. Um, like you 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 like you all you all get it. Like uh, like when you're like either you're in trouble at work and you're either you're gonna get fired or your job is saved. Right, mm-hmm. and you're literally off for two weeks while they're looking at your case. Right, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Um, I forgot the pr- proper terminology for that, but that's what they should have done, if anything, you know, to everyone. Right, but they didn't. They let it rock out, and now they have to suffer the consequences because now they're gonna lose to fucking Nike. You know what I mean? Like I said, I was Team Stock X because I've never gotten got by them, mm-hmm. but. It's before they even admit it to passing fakes or knowingly that their authentication was being passed fakes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's the problem to me. Why fucking fight so hard and now you now you look the like you're the worst? You know, financially, right. I feel like regardless of this situation, they're known the most. They're even on Walmart now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You see them on advertisement. If you have Hulu, Netflix, they're on that shit now. Right. Mm. There's no goat. There's there's no eBay. Mm. There's no uh, sneaker dunk app or whatever. Like it's literally StockX is promoting that shit out the ass. StockX is compared. StockX literally, I feel like personally, is like the number one fucking uh, company when it comes to the resale market now. Yeah, yeah, true. Cause like, look, cause like, well, well, let's say you go to a sneaker convention right now, you want to know the value of something. What's the first the first app you click on without giving it a second thought? Stock X. Exactly. Yeah, it's like I it's and it's true, true, just like you said. When I when I don't buy, it, I don't buy nothing off Stock X. 
just uh like I, you just go in there to look at the market. Oh, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what we do look at though? What's up? Pizza. Oh <laughs> yeah, let's talk about let's talk about this. Pizza. Let's talk about this. Scars pizza. Shout out to them. Do you remember the Air Force One Scar yes, Pizza we- now? I feel like that will be your grill only because you yeah. love pizza. That's your favorite thing. To <laughs> right. well, if I if I can get if I can get my hands on a pair of those, bro, one day, like bro, you'll yeah. be happy because that's right. the best of you love sneakers, you love pizza. I love yeah. So it's hey, right, you said the best of both worlds, bro. Best of both worlds oh for you. Gosh. But uh, here's the story: uh, Scars drop uh, Black Cement threes. Mm-hmm. Um, if you bought the shoe, uh, it came with a slice. And it dropped at 3 p.m. on November 23rd. The line was crazy. Yeah. But it's like, who, I don't know how many pairs they had, but that shit's crazy. That was cool. So you saw the videos and shit? You saw the videos? I know. But, bro, it was like, think of it like this, right? You see how big my block is? Yeah. I'll, from visually, just give you a comparison off the video I saw. And then this block right here to the end, turn to the L all the way down to this way. It was like a big L. Maybe Damn. even a, a, a L or maybe a shape U. I'm not sure, but that line was crazy. And I'll say this, right? The slice that when they promoted it, it was pepperoni. Like, I know it's swine, uh, but I'm not going to say no to that. Like, <laughs> wait, hear me out. The reason I won't say no to that is because they had jalapeno slices on it. Mm. Yes. Thinly sliced. Now, if it was beef pepperoni, I'll say yes to it too. Definitely yes. Oh, hell yeah. But if if we could and would, then yeah, I would definitely just go straight for the it's free slice. Fuck it. Like it is what it is. I'll, <laughs> I'll eat swine for like five minutes. It's okay. <laughs> like I'm not gonna be mad at that shit, bro. Like it's just no. But overall, that shit was a cool drop. Like, bro, you get a slice. Yeah, yeah see, bro. Yeah, that is that you get is slice, cool as shit, yeah. bro. Like it's pizza. Like Man. who doesn't love pizza? Like facts, right? Like that. That's that's you. That's unique as hell. Who doesn't love pizza? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. If you if you had a chance to do that, would you? Oh hell yeah. I I I could, I could secure a, a black a, a, a pair of black cement threes and a slice. Yeah, hell yeah, I would do that. Because what the retail was what two twenty? Yeah, two twenty. Yeah. yeah. Did, I mean, you, I, did you try to play shock drop or not? Or you were busy? No, nah, I was I was working. I was I went, I went to bro. I went to the bathroom and saw it. It, it, the, the drop was at p, uh, 12 p.m. No, 2 p.m. Uh, oh, 2, oh, 2 p.m. Yeah, 2.23. I'm sorry, 2.23. I went to the bathroom at like 4.15. Mm. I was like, fuck. I, I pulled out my phone. I was pulled out my phone in the bathroom, and then, then I saw it. Let me ask you this, right? Do you have a pair of Black Cement 3s? I got the 2012 pair. Okay, so you have the, the, John, the Justin Bieber pair. Yeah. The reason why I call it Justin Bieber, y'all, because he wore that shit in his Christmas video with Mariah Carey, and that shoe blew the fuck up <laughs> bro like you don't understand like i noticed all right back then sneaker at least in philly okay mm-hmm. from what we knew from what i saw because i was i was fairly new and it's not being racist it's just being observation or me having observation mm-hmm. from tw- from i started in 2010 like okay. literally out of high school okay right well in middle high school but i started more in 2011 like i started going heavy in 2011 moving forward Around that time, I didn't really like I didn't really like Jordans like that. Besides, uh, Space Jams, right? Okay. Jordan Levis were my favorite. Mm-hmm. That's the only Jordan I had at the time, mm-hmm. and I remember seeing them shits. I'm like, oh shit, because around the stores that we had when it came to sneakers, there was only two type, of, three type of people, ethnicity wise, that okay. would be in there. Okay, black, Asian, mm-hmm. Hispanic, in, in the area <laughs> in the. In the community I was in when it, right. came, when it came to sneakers, a sprinkle of white, right? But it was like the, the, the white folks were culture. They knew about black community. They knew about Asian community, Hispanic community. They knew, you right. know what I mean? So it was like they, they weren't just like the typical ignorant white folks. Right. When just when I noticed Justin Bieber wore that shit, I saw every suburban kid wearing black cement three <laughs> to like fucking like the, the Connors. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, whoa. So I'm like, to me at that point, I was like, it made me realize it wasn't just a sneaker, sneaker culture. It wasn't a minority thing right. because I'm still young. I'm in college. I only, I'm only, all I knew was West Philly. 
South Philly and Northeast. <laughs> I didn't, I was like very in my own bubble. Okay. You know what I mean? I didn't, I guess I'll say this again. Like, this shows that I was not cultured in, with my own kind like that. Mm-hmm. I didn't even fucking had sushi until college, bro. <laughs> I never had hot pot until like 23, 24. Mm-hmm. The only thing I ate was soul food or whatever my mama made. And around that time, I just found out what tacos really was because I didn't like Taco Bell. I thought Mexican food was strictly Taco Bell. I'm ashamed to admit that's the same thing, bro. I grew up my whole life thinking Taco Bell was a real time. And I went to like the taco restaurants in like Italian market area, had my first real taco, had my first real burrito. Authentic. Let me say it like that. Authentic. Okay. Mexican cuisines or whatever you want to call it. I was like, yo, this is like, that's why I don't eat Taco Bell. Like, what's the point of eating Taco Bell? No offense to Taco Bell. Like, if y'all like Taco Bell, y'all like Taco Bell. But I prefer the Alpes stores. I prefer the Lingua. I prefer the Thripa. Like, shit that people don't eat, which is cow tongue and tripe. I eat that shit, bro. That shit's fucking amazing. That shit's fuego. Like, the way, the way, uh, uh, Nestle and that's make, make, make that hand sign. Fire. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But well, cow tongue, I never had cow about that, but that sounds it's sweet. Good. It's good. It's good. You people, you're like, you, bro, look at me. Mm-hmm. I eat everything. Like what Shannon Sharp said, I eat the squeal. But he doesn't eat the squeal. I'll eat the squeal. <laughs> I'll eat that shit. I, I'm not going to. Like, I I will eat hog. I, will, I know it's fatty. But if you put that shit in front of me, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> I'm not going to say no to that shit. You you don't touch it because of health, health purposes, which right. I fully understand. Mm. I do it because I don't want to get fatter. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> but back to Scar's Pizza. Yo, that what they did was very cool. Yeah, very that, that dope. was dope. That was and dope. I want to say it like this, like, bro, I wish, I wish I could have done that shit, bro. That shit was fire for me. I wish I could have done that. I wish I could have been up there just to, for the experience. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. The experience of just seeing people camp out again. Mm-hmm. It was just that shit was beautiful, bro. Yeah. I'll bring camp out back. The like, facts. Make camp out great again. <laughs> Uh, we're not getting political in this shit, bro. It's it's just funny to say. All right. Um. Oh, yeah, so, so you you and Nesto, uh, you and Nesto camped out. We, did, uh, we did camped you? out. It wasn't really a camp out. See, we we waited. Yes. Uh, if you want to say it's a camp out, technically it was for the terror squads. Mm. But overall, it was like it is what it is. You know what I mean? It was cool. It was fun. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the like I wouldn't say. Oh my god, like like. It was the best camp out of my life. But we were the first there. We sat there. We chilled. You know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got wah wah. And then we just like sat until like eight o'clock or whatever. And then shout out to Brian. He's the owner of Lampstone. He um he he sh- he gave us he gave us the um the early access as in like he opened the store up early for us. You know what oh, I mean? Oh dope. Yeah, so dope. like we got our shit like basically and like two hours, almost an hour and a half, hour early. Because mm. he could have made us wait until fucking 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, bro. <laughs> but he didn't. You know what I mean? So it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Um, Let me ask you this. We both on social media. We use social media platforms and shit. I'm on social media. I, I'm a wannabe content creator. I try to be a content creator. Nah, whatever the case may be. Nah, I'm not. Nah, I, I feel like until I get paid thoroughly, I'm not. I'm just... a. I'm I'm fucking fish. You 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 you're a social media you're a social media content creator that's just not getting paid. That just happens. I mean, I get paid. paid. Shout out to Rashu Renee, Fresh Philly two on five promo yeah, code ten percent. Um, but I'm talking about like annually type of shit, like the way we work type of shit. You know what I mean? Okay. If I could, I would. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I had the opportunity, you know what I'm saying? I would. You know what I mean? Um, did social media ruin sneaker community? Did it help? Did it destroy it? Like, what's your perspective on that? I feel, me personally, I'm going to say it like this. Okay. Pros and cons. Okay. You can't have your eggs and eat. I mean, you can't have your cake and eat the two type of mentality. That's right. Okay. Because I said eggs. You know, <laughs> that's how you know I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> think of it like this, right? What's up? <sighs> when social media blew up. Yeah. It showed the light mm. and the dark side of everything 
Fuck even just the sneaker community. When it comes to anything we watch, shows, people mm-hmm. like beefing each other behind the scenes. Right. People who are getting assaulted outside in the real world. People recording shit like that, right. but not calling 911. But we're right. of someone being 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 beaten, to, be, and the, all, all you know beaten within an inch of their life. And they're like, world star, world star, shit like that. I'm going to say it like this. Just to give y'all a light where I'm coming from. Yes and no, mm-hmm. basically. Okay. It gives out information yes. on sneakers. Mm-hmm. It gives out details on sneakers. It gives out release days, descriptions, and people giving their two cents on what yes. the shoe is. Yes. So you can understand what you're about to buy, what you're about to get, what you're about to own. Mm-hmm. Now, when it comes to the dark side, I feel like me personally, it shows the greed the narcissistics side of it the the danger of people getting robbed kids being robbed grown-ups being robbed people even dying over pairs of shoes people stealing cargo trucks of shoes people Mm -hmm. fucking stealing shoes like it it's the list goes on and on Right. right I feel like if you just look at the the bright side, you'll never want to look at the dark side. True. But you need to see the light to know where the dark is. Right. You need to know the dark side to know where the, the light, light is. is. I like because that. if you turn that shit off, guess what? It's only dark. You turn that shit back on, that shit's only light. That's how life is. Right. Mm-hmm. It's up to you as an individual to take... <laughs> The pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Can you handle it? Maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Can you accept the fact that, okay, this release, you're not going to buy. You're not going to get. Because you might strike out because someone else got it and you didn't. Mm -hmm. Financially, you don't have the money for it currently. Right. But what is it? Can you accept that? No? Then you need to work on yourself. Because everything you see on social media is not real. What I say on social media, yes, it's my real take on it. I don't do it to piss people off. I don't do it to get people to agree with me. I just say what it is with my feelings and my personal opinions. That's it. And if you agree with me, you agree with me. If you don't, you don't. I stayed, you notice I like, I started doing meme cuts and shit, like the jokes and shit, because it's funny. Mm -hmm. So why not? have a little laughter and poke fun at what I enjoy, what I love. Because at the end of the day, regardless, you have to take the jabs too, regardless if you're winning or not. Right. There's if Life doesn't give you just fucking lemonade, bro. You got to take the lemons with that shit. Mm-hmm. You can't always take sugar. You need salt. Right. Mm-hmm. Too much salt, you're going to fucking get gout. Too much sugar, you don't get diabetes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that's like, you can't have your cake and eat it too. That's life in general, bro. But it depends on the individual on how they take it and how they perceive the information, the details, the, the videos, the pictures. Because narcissists, nar- like you could be narcissistic and envious. You could be like, oh, I have the best, the best fucking collection in the world. Right. But you should feel like that because that's yours. You should be proud of what you have. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But you shouldn't be mad at someone else for having a shoe that you can't obtain because that's that's just life, bro. Right. Bro, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it, it's just because, it's like, for example, we'll go back to, let's say, let's say my, one of my grails, Tokyo Fives. I'm going to be mad at somebody for having that shit. One of my grails this is one of them. You're gonna be mad at someone having having the scars piece of Air Forces? No. Like, damn, I, those are clean. I wish I had them. Yeah, I wish I wish I had one. It Positive reinforcement. Yeah, but right. it's like at the same time, we gotta understand that you can't have your cake and eat it too. 
That's why I feel like society doesn't understand that shit. Because we grew up in an era where it was like, suck it up. Suck it up. Right, sure. The era this now moving forward after us is like, you can be whatever you want to be. Mm-hmm. You put your mind to it. Yeah, that's positive reinforcement. But it doesn't help when, you're, when your child's a, a dumbass. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, bro. It's like saying, you telling me, bro, you can fit a size small. You could do it. Yeah. No, the bitch, yeah, I can't. No, I can't. I, if I do, guess what? I'm going to have to lose all my muscle. Yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. And be my track star self again when I was a buck 40. Mm. I'm, I'm a loser. You, you, you was a buck 40? It was though. a buck 40 at one point. Damn. A buck 40. The lowest I've been was 135. Shit. Yeah. I was I was on some like supermodel, skinny, anorexic type of look to it, bro. I lost a lot that much weight because I was very insecure. And I'm being honest with y'all. I'm being honest with y'all. When I used to be two, like almost touching 300, like 275, 280, bro, I, I, was, I would starve myself. I would only eat rice and, and I realized... That wasn't the right way. I will only eat special case cereal and rice. That's it. And I oh lost goodness. all that shit. And I was taking diet pills. Oh my. Oh my. So goodness. I lost all that shit in a year. My family thought I was on crack. And I lost all because I lost all that weight so fast. Oh, so I realized it was affecting my my my, my athleticism in football. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was lighter. I was faster, but I was weaker. So I put in, that's why I understand muscle and fitness. Okay. So I started putting muscle in, eating chicken, rice, and broccoli for like a year. And I started looking the way I was. And then I was like, I need to be the best version of myself. Oh. And then I start working out more, start getting stronger, yes. start getting leaner. Mm. And I was like, this is the right way. Okay. You know, that what I did prior was the wrong way. And right. this is why I, I had to bring up like, you, you see the darkness and the that's right. And I can only say that because I, I, I've been through that and I wish that on nobody, bro. Right. Because I was just tired of being so fat. I was like, bro, I, I thought that was the easiest way to get. But I didn't I didn't look it up and like, oh, how do you start? I'm like, how do you lose weight? Mm-hmm. And I, I, I just taught myself the wrong way by accident. That's all it was. So light cal- I just thought light calories. Right, it's true. Which, which is like you need light calories but high protein. And but a you lot need of people, high protein but like cal- you. We 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 we, we kind of live in a world that 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 promotes like un that that mental un that physical and mental unhealthiness. Right? But what I say about that? Listen, you you uh, uh, a diet commercial for women comes on on TV right now. What's the only thing I'll say? Uh, just light light light. Uh, uh, go low on calories. They don't say nothing about proteins, the right fats. The right, uh, uh, the, the the right amounts of sugar because that's you need that the right amount. But that's of sodium. Like everyone intake is different. You can eat a slice of pizza mm-hmm. and not and all this, the same slice you and me, mm-hmm. but your carb intake will be different compared to my carb intake. But, that's why everybody's everybody body everybody's body processes food differently, right. just like how everyone's mind processes social media differently. Mm-hmm. And it's like you can't like. Yo, you're being lied to. You're being deceived because you believe everything you see online, everything you read online. Like, bro, I have friends who compare their relationships to fucking online shit. Like, really? Oh, my God. Oh, really? Please. That, that... Bro, when you do that, it's like it ruins your your perspective on life. You learn. The reason why I feel like I know what I'm talking about with certain things because mm. I've been through it. Right. I witnessed it. Mm. I've been in it. I fucking played in it. Bro, I understand it. Because I've been in those shoes. Right. People, like, Nesto jokes around a lot about it. Okay. Like, oh, cheaters going, cheat, cheater know, cheaters, cheaters know what he's talking about, right? <laughs> I say that, for example. I mean, cause I used to cheat. I used right. to cheat a lot. Yeah. Shitload. Yeah. Not on my wife. Yeah. You, on my you, previous, you, you, you my previous, yeah. uh, my previous relationship. Mm-hmm. Nobody was safe. Nobody. Nobody was. Nobody, nobody was safe out here. Nobody. None of my exes were safe. <laughs> when it comes to me being faithful to them, you know what I mean. And I realize, yo, it's the mentality of I was scared because if they're gonna get me, I'm gonna get them first. Oh my goodness, that was my problem. Okay, I had issues. I had so many issues. I 
I should have been in, in a fucking uh, a mental state hospital for my bullshit. <laughs> but I learned to adapt. I learned to fix myself before I was ready for somebody else. And can I, can I ask you something? Like, 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 what, what was, 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 what, what was the thing? What was the thing that you read, or the thing that you saw, or the thing that you heard that tipped you over the edge to let you know to get out of that, get them first mentality? I was tired. You was tired. I was tired. Oh, okay. I was tired. I was being honest. I'm being honest with you. I was tired. Mm-hmm. I was tired of all these crying, heartbreak bullshits. I was tired of, of me not accepting what I did was wrong because I had that egotistical narcissistic mindset at the time where, all right, so what your, your tears don't pay my bills. Oh, Jesus. I was that type of guy, bro. Yeah. I made masculinity. I was part of that masculine toxicity. Like when people, when females talk about that shit, I was that the, 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 I wouldn't say the poster child, but I would say, I was part of that movement to help well part of that movement to help that movement because there's a difference between respect mm. and disrespect. Right. There's a difference between toxicity and reality. Me, I put all that shit together mm. and didn't understand what was what. Oh, okay. If you ever meet my homie Ryan who was on this pod like back then, right? Okay. You could ask him how I changed as an individual from then to now. He is one of them, one of my friends that saw me grow up. He said anything with my homie Eric. You met him before. Right. Shout mm-hmm. out to my homie Eric. Um on uh, July 4th. You mm-hmm. could ask him how I changed from then to now. Okay. Like it was it's the way I changed is because for my son. And mm-hmm. it's also nice. because it's the right thing to do. Amen. Because if I can change for myself, how can I help prove to my son that, yo, this is not the right way? Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know one day when he gets older, he's going to, if social media is still a thing, social media will be part of his life too. True. But I want to understand social media in real life. That's the thing people understand when it comes to sneaker. Like, sneakers, back to sneakers. Sneakers is a lifestyle or a hobby or a phase. Those three, right? Mm-hmm. For example, for me, lifestyle. For you, lifestyle. Right. Nesto, lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Homie Pete, lifestyle. It's part of who we are. Right. It's, a identi- it's part of our identity. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, like you being a, a Hawks fan, that's mm-hmm. part of your identity. Right. Me being a Sixers fan, it's part of our identity. Mm-hmm. You know, you're a GOAT MJ, that's your identity. Yes. Uh, LBJ, part of my identity. Mm-hmm. It's perspective and, and vision of what you see fits you. Right, right. That's yo, the that, that was brilliantly said. Because that's yeah. but that it's like people don't grasp the fact that social media is fake. Visually, let's be realistic here. Like we see nice things on there from cars to pretty girls to nice shoes to nice houses. And then we will find cute dogs to fucking food. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. Like perfect example. Food. You send me shitload of fucking food reels all the time, mm-hmm. and I'm like, all right, cool. But that's, but what our with my experience when it comes to so like popular social media spots on food with foods, don't be like, eh, it's the hype. It's the hype right now. True. Like, food is food at the end of the day for me. Yeah, absolutely. Just because I'm using one of the the ice cream video you sent me, mm-hmm. just because it's like fucking twenty swirls. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. that. That's doesn't mean it's fucking longest. better than if it was just two swirls. Yeah. They, they don't mean it's better than Mr. Soft the outside. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying like the swirls. You saw like it was like 20 right. swirls, right? Mm-hmm. Just just because it's 20 swirls doesn't mean two swirls of ice cream cone, the same thing, is going to just taste better because it's 20 swirls. I get that. It's the same flavor. I get that. I get you that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get that. Mm-hmm. That's all. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, it's. I've been there. I've I, and I will never understand the the problems that kids or people deal with today with body comparisons and and lifestyle comparisons, bro. Be thankful for what you have, because people out there don't have shit. You know what I mean? And that what drives me. Because my wife, yo, my wife reminds me all the time: be thankful for what you have. Because if you like, I wish I had this. I wish I be thankful for what you have. 
Mm-hmm. I tell myself, like, you know, you're right. Like, she puts me in check mentally when it comes to certain things, and I will always be grateful for her. You know what I mean? And then she probably never hear this because she don't she don't pay attention. She's not my biggest fan when it comes to content creating. <laughs> Because <laughs> she doesn't see me as Fresh Philly 205. She sees me as her lazy husband. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, 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 but that, that, that's that's a blessing, too, that, that, she, that she sees you as a husband. And like, it's, it's a blessing that like she supports you. Now, there you go. She, she supports the shit out of you. She does. Listen, it, she, she no, trust a, me. She did. She was a, she, a driving force in you starting. Bro, this, right? she, she helped me. She supported me when I had my business. Mm-hmm. She supported me when I lost my business. Mm-hmm. She supported me when I was dead broke. She was supporting me. She was with me. Bro, she was with me when I was at my peak, money-wise, mm-hmm. you know, financially, everything. She was up with me when I was up. She was with me when I was down. She was with me when I'm in the middle. You know what I'm saying? And that's why she's my wife. You know what I mean? Amen. There's a backbone. She's my backbone. And, like, I will – she will probably never hear it because, I, I, cause like, the way I, I, I joke around with y'all, I joke around with her. Sometimes, <laughs> some, some, sometimes it's a little mean, but, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? And she knows I love her. She knows I love her to the fullest. She better know. If she doesn't, then uh, I'm a fucking shitty ass husband. You feel me? Um, moving forward, uh, we're gonna talk about sneakers releases. But before we do that, Jimmy Fallon eats ice cream on the Chunky Dunkies. You saw that? I, I I didn't see it, but as soon as you saw me, I said, "Oh no, not my not my top ten, not my top ten. This goes back to social media. Remember back in the day when people would eat cereal and shit out their shoes? I remember that shit. Were you a fan of that? You thought it was funny? Or it is what it is? Yeah. I thought it was... I Okay, let, let, let me let, let me put it this. I thought it was just as entertaining as when... Don't you remember that, that era when uh, uh, people were putting... Putting their put putting them in the oven. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like bro, I, I got I got to make a, I got to make a foam call. But this yeah. it. Hold on, real quick, bro. I got to make a foam call. Yeah. It was putting breads in the oven. Hold on, real quick. I got to make a foam call. Or it would be uh. My favorite was always the, Oreo, the Oreo fours, and they'll put next to the milk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I, th- I thought it was just as entertaining. Like it is is is. It's entertaining. It's, it's very, it's very entertaining. It was entertaining. like, I, like, like I, I, I didn't have a problem with it. Like, oh, that, that's all. Oh, that's some dick ass shit. I just thought that, of course, like, no, it's yeah, cool yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Jimmy yeah, yeah. well, Fallon can can spend a grand and yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pen, penny to him. Like, of course, but, uh, not counting his pockets, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but not, not not counting his pockets. We have, but but yeah, we're we're being realistic, people. <laughs> so like, um, that's like me spending fifty bucks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's me like spending a dollar. Fifty bucks, I'll cry. <laughs> if I go to a shoe that's fifty bucks, I'll cry. <laughs> yeah, but that being said, that show was funny. Yeah, yeah, that that that, that, that will be hip, entertaining. I'll, I'll I'll watch that. I'll watch that when I leave here. Kobe eights what the April thirteenth, twenty twenty five, for a buck eighty. You copping? I know you're no, not a big fan, Kobe. Like, yeah, bro, bro, I, I told you, it's, it's, and it just made let me see, see that that what the right there. It's 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 not that's tame. That that's a tame what the because I know like, you know what's like fan. yeah yeah I, I'm I'm, sure, I'm I'm like just like all right, we're gonna reiterate what we talked about a couple episodes ago like I'm not a what the fan like that what that Kobe ate what uh, the that's cool because it's tame it's 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 symmetrical relax. like that that's relaxed what the Some compared what to the, other what those right l- 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 bro if you look at a LeBron what the? I'm sorry and I'm not saying it's a, as a jab at LeBron no, no, no. It, there's this one particular LeBron seven what the that's too much you for look you. at it and you say yeah but what that's the, the point that, i i get it that's but like point. that's the loud that's the loudest what the yeah i've ever seen uh jordan 11's legend blues i know you want these i oh, know yeah. i know a lot of people want. i don't yeah. know why because i already have a pair i don't give a fuck uh december 14th uh full family size you you gonna try a cop yeah I, i'm covering those. i don't know why people love i have them already and it's like uh, it is what it is um, last but not least, Jordan 3, Ama Minier, Diffuse Blue, March 15th, 2025, for 225. It's similar co- colorways to the, the Dawn 5s, hey, the Ama that? Minier release, collab. And, 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 and bro, I, I, I was, I, I, I was, me, I'll, I'll say no to that. No. It, 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 look, it look, that colorway looks recycled. Me, personally, I like it, but I already have the, the, the other Alma Minier threes mm-hmm. up there, 
okay. woman's release one. Mm-hmm. So I was like, all right, I have a pair of mom in years. I'm good. Okay. But like, I wouldn't mind the blue one if I had. It's cool because it's white, but it's like, do I really need them? Eh, it is what it is. You know okay. what I mean? Oh, uh, if I get them for the low, sure, mm-hmm. like hundred bucks brand new or ninety bucks brand new, I'll do it. Yeah. But not full retail. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't got those being over being over retail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that being said, y'all, that's it for today's podcast. Uh, just to remind y'all, um, or remind you, remember make your top uh top ten list, top right. ten list, and we're gonna have an episode next month dropping before Christmas get for sure. Before we take a break for Christmas. That uh, we're gonna have the freshest, the fresh list, if anything, All right, the fresh list of uh, 2020, 2024. You know what I mean? Um, that being said, y'all remember, please like, share, subscribe. Remember, we are on Apple and Spotify. Uh, what else? Please like, share, subscribe to my IG, my YouTube, my TikTok at Fresh Philly two one five. That being said, y'all, please drive safe. Please be safe. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up, too. Be thankful for what y'all have. I'm thankful for y'all. Amen. Uh, That being said, have a nice day and have a nice night. And we will see y'all next week. Peace. Deuces.